in the gospel, Jesus took Peter, James, and John all by themselves to the mountain. For what? To pray. And while they were praying, Jesus allowed Peter, James, and John to have a glance or a foretaste of the glory of the original glory of our Lord. Why? Because before going up to the mountain, Mount Tabor, Jesus revealed to his disciples his pending suffering and death and resurrection to the disciples. And the disciples were so disturbed about it. Thus, Jesus allowing them to experience his glory that they will not, their faith will not be shaken, but rather to strengthen them in times of difficulties, trouble, and trial, and even suffering. I remember very well when we have our three-day retreat before entering the seminary, most of my friends taking the retreat after the three days, they said to our facilitator, it is good that we are here. Why not we just stay here and not go back to our usual life? Because it's good to be here. But my dear friends, the reality of life is not like that. We have to go back to our day-to-day -day life. There are times that during the Mass or perhaps one of your experiences in having retreat or having recollection or while praying that, that you know, having a foretaste of that experience of Peter, James, and John, their life, that we will say, oh, it's good for us to be here. Let's just stay here. It's good. Our feelings, but our faith is not based on feeling, but rather on the decision, like Jesus, that he is so resolute to enter into his pastoral mystery, his suffering, death, and thus resurrection. The same is true with our life. We wanted, why not we just remain here in the church and not no longer come home? Because here, oh, we feel that the Lord is very near. But that is not life, it's all about we have to go back to the reality of our life where we have to do the basal hustle of everyday life and our responsibility because just like you know in the road of coming in and going out of lower world you have to avoid so many potholes <laughs> or else you will lose your tires and that is the reality of life. But my dear friends, this transfiguration of Jesus is to allow to discover that potentiality in us, the presence of the glory of God embedded in our soul, that upon discovering our full potential, we are ready, even though, to face the road, even though it is not all smooth, but have potholes, but we are ready because we are strengthened by the grace of God and with our hope that all of us will also in turn, if we join with Jesus in his suffering and death, 
we in turn will join him in his resurrection. And that is our hope, that even amidst the hassle bustle of our daily lives, brought about by our responsibility as parents or anything else, we are ready to face because we are, we know that our Lord is with us. So just like Peter, it's good for us to be here. Yes, but this is just to dis rediscover that true presence of Christ in our lives, that we will discover the transfigured Christ in us and discover our full potentialities to do good for the world. Even our world seems to be like our robes put of pothole, we are ready because we know that our Lord is with us.